Hey, welcome back to Banjo Tooie. Hey. Hey. Let's go swimming. Hey. Into hey. the water. Hey, I hope you got some uh, topics planned for this one because we're gonna need them. Oh, we can turn this into a podcasty episode. That's fine. Well, that's that's about what we're going with. So, d ooh. The, the, the great majority of this Ew. is going to be done entirely in first person because that is the <laughs> fastest <laughs> method of maneuverability in these sections. Oh, God! Because uh, Mumbo oxidized the, the, the lagoon, that means that we can now swim freely in this enormous labyrinthine lagoon. Mm, yes. Yes. Uh, it's too big. You don't move fast enough. It's really difficult to tell where everything is. It's it's just all kinds of awful, and I, I hate this series. Let's do something else. By the way, everything you just said can be applied to a significant other. Just throwing that out there. Oh, well. I don't know where anything is. It's not fast enough. It's too big. <laughs> uh, it's all awful. And it's ugly and cavernous. <laughs> <laughs> It's great to take to parties. Wait, what? Why is there a flying saucer down here? Well, that's uh, something we gotta. We we we, we got. <laughs> Alexa, stop listening. No! Alexa, no! Well, she's gone. That's twice now that that damn thing has interrupted one of my episodes. <laughs> anyway. We're not even saying things that sound like Alexa. And I know. She still goes off. I know. I don't need a third party here, okay? <laughs> well, maybe she could have added to the conversation. Well, this is Atlantis. Uh, uh, oh, we found it? Yeah, we, here it is. It's just like right here? It's just right here. Oh. It's not that impressive, really. You know, people are trying to find it. But, you yeah, know, it's, they, it's... they should have looked in the 2000 uh, Nintendo 64 game by Rare called Banjo Tooie. It's right here. Well, this is, this is about as interesting as the Disney movie Atlantis. It was all right. Yeah, it ha it gets a a very thumbs up. A okay. When's the last time you've seen it? Probably 15, 20 years. That to me says that with your. Uh, Newfound maturity and your uh, refined palate. Give it another watch. Maybe you'll appreciate it more. No, oh, maybe. I don't, did I ever talk about James and the Giant Peach? No, tell me about it. Because so, I actually enjoyed that movie. So, uh, d d this is what I'm talking about. I used to love James and the Giant Peach. Mm. I loved that movie as a kid. I would play it on VHS all the time. I, 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 I ran it wrong. I loved it. So much. And uh, so did Violet. Violet loved James the Giant Peach too, because it was from the same guy who did uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, which uh, she loves. So uh, uh, it was on Disney Plus. So we figured, hey, why, why not? We'll go ahead and watch James the Giant Peach, was, and, you know, together. That was a Disney movie? D well, Disney has it now. Oh, okay. If they, if they didn't, then they do now. Anyway, continue. So we, we were watching it. And my god. I fucking hate this movie! It's such a nothing movie. I fucking hate this movie! Like, e even as a kid, I hated, uh, you know, James's intro song, you know, where uh, he gets a bag of chips and draws on it, and he goes, My life is James, just one mother called me. Sometimes I forget. When I'm not It's like I'm watching it. It's like I'm watching it. That's when I go inside my head. <sighs> I look. The musical beats. For James. <laughs> I would always fast forward that as a kid. As an adult, it's like embarrassing and awful and stupid. And why did I ever like this? <laughs> Oh. It, I, I I hated James the actor. Uh, he, like, you know, you, it got better when he turned into a, a animation thing as a kid, but as an adult, it it, it just it didn't change things at all. Everyone just seems to follow you know, his little bug friends. Just fall over with him. That's how uh, un antisocial this kid is. How unlikable he is. The only friends he gets are his bug friends. He, he imagines. And then everybody likes someone. Oh, he's got a giant peach. He's so cool now. Hey, wait a minute. So does that mean 
that at the end of the movie where he's living together with his bug friends, yeah. they're not actually real, and he's like in a, in well, a, oh, in oh, a psych saw, ward or something like that. They saw they're real. It's, it's the crocodile tongues at the beginning when that when that mysterious man is like, Oh, James, take these, the magical crocodile tongues. You know, the, 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 the little glowing green spirals that. or oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, James, being the, the great and graceful kid he is, drops them all 15 seconds after he gets them and loses every single one of them. Mama always told me I was her favorite swan. He could have, he could have done so much with that. He could have, like, you know, t roasted his two nasty ants alive. Which, you know, uh, they... They keep alluding to this whole this whole rhino thing, you know. Yeah, they did. I never understood that as a kid. I think they got hit by a car or something. And and the rhino was James's way of rationalizing Co it. Yeah, coping Not, with it. Because I never got that. It's like an actual rhino came from the sky and ran them over. That sounds stupid. Oh no, it's just a, a a classic case of vehicular homicide. Perfect for a kid. Oh, oh, oh cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, down here is Wumba's glo uh, globo, and she's up here. This one's a bit of an unusual one because it's immersed in water, which tells you something already. You're gonna become a submarine. We're gonna become a submarine. You're gonna become a fish. Yeah, we're gonna become a submarine. Oh wait, I was right? We're gonna become a submarine. Oh, gross. Why? Lumba, make me a submarine! Did you guys are with a sub sandwich? No! Th actually, this time I mean the actual, like, vehicle. <laughs> I actually, I, I knew you were going for submarine sandwich. And then I realized you're telling Wumba to make you a sandwich. No, no, I actually <laughs> transmogrify my body to become an actual submarine. I am sandwich. Get in the water. Get in the water. Well, okay, I just there, there we, we go. go. Okay, gotta love those shallow water controls. It's mm, fantastic. Anyway, lovely. Yeah. Awesome. So, what do we do as a submarine? We can steer. And we can go fast. Oh, okay, that's good. I like that. We got torpedoes too, which I guess is nice. Oh, even better. We can blow things up. So, all right. Oh, you are going fast. Let's get to it. Speaking of going fast, uh, I have been watching speedruns lately. Not Tasses, but like legitimate speedruns. Uh huh. Can that I just say? Tasses aren't legitimate? No, no, they are legitimate. I mean, like. RTA. A RTA, thank you. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, why did I say not legitimate? That's stupid. <laughs> uh, no, I was actually... Um, I've been watching a lot of them, and I realized my favorite speedruns to watch are Pokemon speedruns. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy how they can... Uh, all right, look here. We got to look at the, the, the symbols, and we got to shoot the according uh, ah, yes. jars. Ah! Ah! All right, somebody's a jerk. Someone's gonna die in a few seconds. You are going to die, Mr. Fish. Yeah, the, the, the Pokemon speed ones are, 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 are wild. The kind of stuff you can do with those games is pretty incredible, especially the earlier ones on Game Boy. It's just one of those funny things where you see a game that probably takes the normal person like two hours, or not two hours, Jesus, like 40 hours, maybe. They gotta actually 20. go back. And then speedrunners come in and just snap the game over their leg. It's great. But that made me think right now, since I've enjoyed watching speedruns, what are the times for Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie speedruns? Well, I got a 100% uh, task for Banjo-Tooie that I think is about four hours or so. Four hours isn't bad. But I don't know if that's like a record or whatever. That might just be a, a casual task. All right, so... There's some tasks that aren't uh, acknowledged by taskvideos.org, which is what I always go for. Well, I don't know if that's because it's been rejected for whatever reason, or mm -hmm. it's just not submitted. So what is FFM? FFM? Yes. Final Fantasy music? <laughs> Frequent flyer miles? What, it, what? What's the context? Well, the context is an N64 speedrun FFM. What? I don't know. Let me, let me see. There's the option of FFM and no FFM. Framemeister? Maybe they're cutting down on lag time. That might be a specific glitch. Oh, maybe. Then that means there's not much of a change between glitches and something else because the current world record for 
the uh, for the original Banjo Kazooie on N64 is an hour and fifty six minutes one hundred percent. On Xbox, it is two hours and two minutes, so not much different for a one hundred percent. So now let me go over to Banjo Tooie. FFM. Oh, this is a uh, crispy bacon. Hi, crispy bacon. You're my favorite type of person. Oh, wait, this is the... He has kids. Yes. So he got captured and is about to turn into crispy bacon. Well, we're about to, we're, gonna, we're gonna save him in his uh, Union Jack uh, underwear. Oh, rare. Showing your nationality. Holy shit! Okay. Take a guess. Four hours. Yeah, you pretty much nailed it. So the N64 version, four hours, 16 minutes is the world record right now. Mm -hmm. On the Xbox, it is four minutes and 20, or four hours and 24 minutes. So it is faster on N64, but that makes sense. Probably because there's more stuff. Correct. On the Xbox version. Correct. There are a few things they changed too, like a few just moderate <laughs> changes that they made. Any percent. <laughs> This is pretty great. Probably two hours, I'd say. 27 minutes. Oh, okay, yeah. On the Xbox, 44 minutes. Mm -hmm. Good God. Probably, there's probably a clip that works in the N64 version, but not. But and it doesn't work in the Xbox in version. Yeah. Okay. So they didn't find all the clips. That's good. Oh, because yeah, I, I think the Xbox is a bit more of a stable console than the N64. Yeah. I, I mean, in terms of running games, not in terms of turning on. Uh. <laughs> I still love that when I gave you my Xbox to record Banjo Kazooie stuff, I told you it's like, oh yeah, I'll I'll bring it over as soon as it's done updating. An hour later, I'm so sorry, man, it's still updating. It's been a couple weeks since I got more footage. I bet if I turn it on, hey, got an update for you. It does. Hope but, you got about 20 gigs to spare. It does, by the way. I just updated my Xbox One today. Oh, of course, goddamn. And for the. I, I, I turn on my PS4 and it's like, oh, you updated? Oh, I didn't even realize. Yeah. I turn yeah. on my Switch. Oh, there was an update? Cool. Cool. The, but the Xbox, hey, uh, before we start, got some stuff for you. Check it out. Check it out. It's about 500 gigabytes of nothing. Bug fixes. Yeah. What kind of bugs do they fix? Ones that you don't even realize are bugs. You've never experienced them, but we're going to take about two hours of your day to patch them for you. Okay, so I was curious, so I looked up Donkey Kong 64. Any percent. What do you think? Hmm. Any percent, DK64, I would say an hour. <laughs> nope. Lower. 42 minutes. Lower, come on. Three minutes. <laughs> okay, not that fast. 24 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay. 101%? And welcome to my personal hell. Oh, they got some wild clips for for the oh, for yeah. ninety percent. Like that's one where it turns invisible, everything goes black and white. Some wild shit happens, man. Yeah, you can snap Donkey Kong sixty four over your leg. Five hours and ten minutes for a hundred and one percent. That is it. every fairy, every banana, every golden banana, every bit of busy work they require you to do. Every single collectible, the rareware coin, the Nintendo coin. Right. All that garbage. And you're in world record pace, right? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and? Let's just say I, when I finished recording Donkey Kong 64, it is technically all done. I was at 20 hours. <laughs> all right, so you got some room for improvement. R small room for improvement. Maybe getting lost in Fungi Forest. Bad idea for my world record run. Oh, yeah, that'll eat 16 hours. Oh, God. I hated it. It was bad. But that's neither here nor there, because this is the Banjo Tooie. Yes. They're on Banjo Tooie. It's another tower based thing. There's uh, one thing I think we, we can get here. Another thing, we need another move from a way later level before we can come back. Don't you love backtracking? Sort of, actually. I do too. It's like cleaning up the docket. Speaking of which. Optional backtracking is good. Force backtracking, I'm, I'm a little less... I don't like that, no. But I mean, like, a little bit of backtracking so you can open up this entire brand new part of the level, that's okay. That's good stuff. 
Actually, I like... Uh, we've backtracked already in this series. A little bit. You know, go to level 2 to finish level 1, that mm. kind of stuff. Yeah. Are we just going to have one episode devoted to cleaning up multiple levels? Probably two. I'm okay with that. Well, I'll, I'll try and fit everything in one episode. I've done it for Donkey Kong. I was, I was just curious. Well, we'll, we'll see. Cause I know we got everything in level one, so we're good there. Yeah. And yeah, level, you know, the early levels might not need that much backtracking. This one's gonna need a lot of backtracking because I gotta get all these fucking seamies. <laughs> oh, there's another one. And that's a big old fish. Yep, that's that. That is an important, important guy right here. Yeah, is that the fish that ate the wave racer? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. Well, we got, all right. Then. We gotta blast open his teeth and enter in his his mouth that way. Oh. I see he's coming around again. Yeah, come here. Hey, teeth! Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right. Oh, my eye! There we go. Ah! All right. Two, three. Okay. Uh, How does a kid think of that? Unless they, like, get bored and start shooting grenades at fish. Well, there, there's a lot of hint boards that we've been, like, oh. missing. Oh! So that would probably allude better to it. Gotcha. God, this aiming blows, dude. But, uh, I'm not looking at them. I'm looking at a video guide instead. And I'm not saying that your aiming sucks, it's just aiming in general. The aiming sucks. Yeah. The aiming. And oh, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm sure I'm not great either, but... What the It's hell? not all my fault. You ate a lot of things, didn't you? You ate stuff from level 5. He's huge! How on earth? So there are two paths mm, to go down. Traveling through the innards of a fish. Is Jinjo down here? Well, I mean, you probably ate that by, like, eating another fish or salad or, you just know. A, it's just a rip-off of Jabu Jabu. <laughs> it turns out that Jinjo also had a wave racer and got caught by the fish. Well, I gotta love how, just like real life, uh, fish are very, very dry on the inside. And not full of water. Yeah, not full of water or anything. Because otherwise the fish would drown, duh. Well, what if the fish is drowning right now? What if the teeth were the filtration system? But, you know, aside from the gills. Well, you better get out of here before it starts to rot. <laughs> you come out and it's just floating. <laughs> so, yeah, this is Jolly Roger's partner. We found her, and uh, she'll be heading back after we're done here. Oh, we have to go... Ah. Oh. oh. Hey, boys! I'm sure there's an off-color joke in there somewhere. She's a monster. But she's gone now, so we're good. Alright, well... Alright, so that's, uh... That's another, uh... Jiggy waiting for us when we get back. Do you consider that busy work? Well, we gotta find her. So, you know... Yeah. And it makes sense why she wouldn't have a Jiggy, I guess. All right, well... If she wanted me to funny. go find five doubloons for her first, that would be busy oh, work. Oh, that would suck. It's like, hey, pay me! Finding finding a person, bring her back for the reward, that's not busy work. Finding a person who won't come with me unless I do something first, <laughs> that's busy work. It's like, oh, that's great, but you know, she... I, I just... I, I got a cramp in my leg, and I just... <laughs> I just can't be bothered. Can I just get a massage? There's an empty honeycomb. I'm missing so much Oh, hey, here. it's Davy Jones. Yeah. I wonder what's in there. Well, in his locker, hopefully sweaty socks. Because that's what belongs in a locker. We haven't done much of the submarine, you may have noticed, because our moveset is limited. But down there... Stop! You violated the law! You can't really go down there. Submarine. Submarine. That one we're going to need the submarine for. God damn it. We'll come back a little bit later for that. I had to cut a lot this entire episode. Hey. It was already an hour. It's all good. So I had to. I, w I went from like an hour and a half almost to 40 minutes. Hey, that's I, not bad. I think I did good. I think I did okay. Do goo. I did my best. I did my very best. This is, the, this is like an incredibly egregious water level. Ooh. Calamari bananas, that's for freezing all the octopi. Oh, nice. It's very specific. I noticed a lot of... I don't know why it's calamari, because you fry calamari. I froze that one. Just run with it. No, I will not run with it! <laughs> I know you wouldn't. I just wanted to see what would happen. Ah, ah, ah! I need to complain about this minor thing! I'm gonna go on Reddit and start... 
bitching up a storm. So much so that I'm going to... I'm going to go on cool math games and bitch about it. <laughs> I'm going to review Bomb Band. going on Neopets to make a, a hit out for them. <laughs> It's like, hi guys, I'm 32 years old. You ever played Banjo Tooie for the <laughs> Nintendo 64? Well, let me tell you, it's so bad. I can, I can see it now. We go to Metacritic. Banjo Tooie has a three now, out of nowhere. This is why I like complaining with games when people are listening. <laughs> Instead of just throwing a thumbs down to the to the ether. Well, it's it's, it's conversational as well. Oh, well, that's true. It's like you know. <laughs> Uh, you know, there's, there's games I hate, but I don't spend my time- Oh yeah, uh, Kazooie, can now Kazooie can now detach from us and turn into a torpedo in underwater. What? That's how we can open those Kazooie-only doors. Oh. And that's how we go forward in the overworld. So Kazooie explodes? Well, yeah. I'm so sorry. So we got that move, that's good. I'm trying. Would you... uh, just, just, just a little. There mm -hmm. we go. Just stick my face right in there. Well, if there were any time I wanted Samus's gravity suit, it'd be now. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Lockers yeah, I guess, cavern. I guess, we'll, I guess we'll go in oh, here. Oh Jesus! It's because of lockers. I thought the fish was named Lockers. Ah. Oh. I think there's a lot of jokes uh, on the on the lockers as well. So, mm. uh, we'll go down here first. It's boss time. Oh, already? Yep. Inside Davy Jones' locker is the boss. That's not a jiggy, you stupid bird. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a big fish. Lord, woo, fack, fack. <laughs> Woo fack fack. Woo fack fack. Is that an insult? I don't know. Is that dirty? I, I, I don't know. Is don't, your episode gonna get taken down for I don't, a... I don't know if it's demo it's uh, demonetizable. I don't know if, like... I don't know if it's racist. I don't know if it's culturally insensitive. I don't know if it's supposed to be like, Whoa, fuck, fuck! Do, 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 do. Uh, hey, you two. Yo, what's up? Hey, uh, just curious. We're playing Banjo Tooie, and the boss came up, and he'll never he'll never believe this. His name is Woo Fack Fack. Is is that is that bad? Uh yeah, hello Perler. Is Woo Fack Fack a slur for something? <laughs> you don't think so? Okay, thanks. Look, I, I just got my answer in, in a different phone call. I mean, I'm here with a friend of mine. We're doing a let's play of Banjo Tooie, so uh. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess we figured it out, and if you demonetize this, uh, you will see my lore. Alright, peace, baby. Hey, lunch next week? Sweet. See you then. Guy's a douche. He is. Uh, ew. By the way, I did love your, your explanation of, Woo! Fact, fact! <laughs> much, much better. By the way, he's bleeding. Yeah, he's got these gigantic pustules that you gotta uh, burst open. Ew. ew. Yeah. Why? That, because this game is gross. This game is gross. Why are we playing this? I think Rare lost their minds having to make so many games for Nintendo that they just, you know, started making poo and fart and lowbrow jokes and they made a whole game about so it. So this was the one. This right here. I, f I feel like Conker's Bad Fur Day was a cry for help. <laughs> They drank themselves stupid, I, just trying I to feel, figure out I the feel, Nintendo problem. I, I feel it was cathartic for Rare to make that game. Oh my god. Having a skirt among the edge of, you know, uh, being four kids and all that, I think it really limited them creatively, and then they decided to do the exact same thing, but with more poo jokes. There was so much stuff that was cut. I, 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 I think I'm bouncing off the fish. Yes, you are. And I'm not taking damage, but I'm not able to move either. I'm caught in an infinite loop by Woo Fack Fack. It's like you it, found two guides on the internet. Woo! Two Fack Facts! I mean, it sounds like a like a tropical fish dinner or something. It does, yeah. It's like, would you like the tilapia, the mahi-mahi, or the Woo Fack Fack? <laughs> I was just thinking of that scene from Finding Nemo. Shark bait! Woo-ha! <laughs> ah! 
Shark bait. Woof, fuck, fuck. <laughs> this is a kid's movie. Actually, there we go. Hey, good job. And now his eyes are open. Woo! Fact, fact. You're not blind. <laughs> uh, oh. That was the joke. God. Well, six more. Oh, good lord. Yeah. Alright, so, you know a movie I just recently watched that still holds up? Like, definitively so? What would that be? Muppet Treasure Island. Yeah, you told me you were watching that. It was... Stunned. It still holds up. What? So what? well. Well, I like, I like the Muppets. It's always been funny. Like, the humor, top-notch. Like, me and the rest of my family were just laughing at a lot of the jokes. I was just, oh my god, shit's still funny. You know what I saw recently? What did you see Ironically recently? enough. Jaws. Oh yeah? The original Jaws. Nice. In preparation for this level, I hope? Well, <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, it's, you know, monster movie season and all that, you know. Yeah! yeah I don't know, so, uh, you know, hey, Jaws, it's a film from 1975, but it it feels like it's later than that. Oh, yeah. Like, if, like if you told, like, if I didn't know it, I would guess that it was from, like, the late 80s, maybe early 90s, but no, mid-70s. Spielberg is ahead of the game. And it still holds up. But what I also like about it is that it's not really, you know, all about the, the, the giant shark. It's a lot of technical ship work. It is, yeah. I like I like how the characters interact with one another. You know, you got you got, you got the everyman who doesn't want to go on the water, which the audience is supposed to go on to. You got the rich, snooty uh, college boy who, you know, is the top of his class but hasn't been on a ship very much. And then you got the stupid, ostracized, old, grizzled bastard who knows everything about, you know, the seafaring and has seen it all, baby. And having them all go on a boat to fight this shark is a really interesting time. And it's fun, and it's great. And then they all got really fucking stupid from that point on. Jaws 3, anybody? One of the best... Be oh, you just killed yourself. That's fine. One of the best points in that movie is the line, we're gonna need a bigger boat. Mm-hmm. It's a key to the audience going, oh, shit. Saying that, oh, what, these marine bio biologists can just take care of the shark, right? It's like, oh, no. This no. is way too big no, and no, way it's, too it's, angry of a shark. It's huge. Actually, one of my favorite factoids about that movie is the... Uh, do you remember the scene in the cage? Mm -hmm. Where they go underwater? Yeah. Um, that is not actually... Oh, God, what's his name? The college kid. What was his name? Oh, I... Well, well the name. point is, that's not actually him. The young guy. They, well, I, I assume not. That's actually stock footage. Actually, there's a, quite a, a bit of stock footage of just, like, sharks. Just to get some of the... Uh, just to get some of the shots of Jaws, because there's no way they're getting that animatronic beast. Yeah, it's it's very everywhere. <laughs> it is a very animatronic, and it's it's kind of obvious at some points. But they intersperse with the stock footage, and it it's kind of hard to tell when the when the cut is sometimes. I don't know that final scene where Jaws becomes the actual monster and takes down the boat mm -hmm. still like gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> it's just oh, it actually jumped onto the boat and is killing everyone. It's it, it's it, it's a great movie. It's, it's it still holds up. I always like these movies that were made all these decades ago, but they they still can be watchable today. You like like The Exorcist? I've never seen that. That is a movie that still holds up too, even though that was made in 1978. Really? Oh yeah. Okay, I'll have to give it a shot. It, because it's got great atmosphere. The acting is fantastic. It's it's just just a good time. I don't know why they're. I don't know why he's Can giving me shit about the move pad. On to the pad. I'm trying to get on the pad Can you here. move on to the pad, please? The Just town center is blocked out because, well, we can't really go onto dry land as a submarine. Correct. What we can do is we can go into that part where the water pressure is too great for us normally. Ah. Uh, S. Hurst. I, I think these are rare employees. I think so, yeah. Yeah, S. Males. S. Males, K. Connell. K, K Connell. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a. There's a stamper in there somewhere. All right, uh, time for another minigame. Blow up the mines. Can you guess how many points are each one? I believe it's the same as all the other minigames. You are correct. Awesome. Do we need instructions? I think we understand. Well, I mean... Yeah. Well, for the sake of everybody else. 
ill-deserved points. Blue ones are three, greens are two, reds are one, and they blow up and they probably hurt, so don't get hit a lot by them. And just uh, fire missiles and go crazy. You got it. You torpedo the fuck out of these fuckers. Okay. Actually, while we're speaking about uh, old movies that still hold up, I will, I will defend the original Friday the Thirteenth. The twist is too good at the end, and it's a really effective moment. There's a reason that they started a franchise. Yes, I haven't seen the original Halloween either, and I want to. I want to do that. Oh, I want to do that so bad. I need to find a way to watch it. But uh, I know it's really easy these days. I'm just saying. I would like to own it, too. I, I, I shot a bunch of mines. It's apparently uh, enough for a trophy. Good job. Or an achievement. Damn it, I'm playing Xbox. But I do remember my mom telling me she saw Friday the 13th in theaters. <laughs> and oh, what great timing. She was going to camp the week after <laughs> to be a camp counselor. Oh, look, it's a horror movie doing what it was supposed to do. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I miss, like, really good horror flicks. They're out there. You just gotta look for them. I know. Last one I saw was Get Out. That was good enough. Yeah, the last one you saw was Get Out. You didn't even see Us. No, because it was on my radar, and then I forgot about it, unfortunately. Well. So I'm gonna have to do that. I'm reminding you, Us. Isn't there a third film? He's making a third film. Okay. I, I think it's, uh... What was it? We? <laughs> oh, no. 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 It's called No. As in N-O or K-N-O-A? As in N-O. -O. No. Oh, okay. No. Let's get out, us, and then no. I'm really sad that not a lot of people understood the underlying context of Get Out. Really? Yeah. Phew. Did they watch it with their eyes closed? <laughs> did, they, did they watch it blindfolded? Were they doing something else like checking their phone and not watching the movie? Oh, trust me, a lot of people misunderstood what Get Out was about. I don't know how they could. It was pretty clear as fucking day. Uh, it's it, it, Yeah, there's a lot of idiots out right, there. Right from the way she she eats her fucking Fruit Loops. <laughs> <laughs> that, alone, that alone is a... No, 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 I'm not meaning the twist. I mean, like, the... Symbolism? Yes. There like, we go. Like how that was symbol. That was symbolic. Yes. I mean, come on. <sighs> it's 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 obvious. It's it's one of the most obvious. Well, apparently not to the entire world. I mean, I understood it. Well, I'm gonna take this time to to recommend always uh, the witch. Still haven't seen that one. And also the lighthouse. I haven't seen that one. Willem Dafoe is in one of his best roles, and you'd forget Robert Pattinson was even in Twilight. Oh, well, that's a good sign. It's it's uh, it's in black and white, four three aspect ratio. It's it's very very strange and an absolutely hilarious horror to watch. Four by three aspect ratio, interesting. It's it's presented as like a a nineteen forties film, and it's got you know it's it, uh, it's great. And the witch okay. is apparently uh, taken from, like, journals of people who lived in, like, the 1600s in, the, in that time. And uh, it's, it's, got, it's got really, it's very dialogue heavy, and, but, it's, but it's got great atmosphere, and it's got this, just, this uneasiness that's just great. I love artful horror like that. I'm also going to give a big thumbs up to 10 Cloverfield Lane. Mm. A very, mm. very good film. Mm. Hated the ending. Mm. And I mean, like, the very, very end. Everything else up to that, solid gold. I haven't seen the original Cloverfield. I, I love 10 Cloverfield Lane because John Goodman is my hero. Oh, he's good. He's, he, oh, he's, he's like... Good a, as a villain. He, he, he's, a, he's a higher... He, 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 he sits on a higher core to my pantheon of heroes. Yeah. You know, like, below Eric Andre, but above, <laughs> say, uh, you know, uh, 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 Bill Wirtz or something. But, um... <laughs> you ever seen the Cloverfield Paradox? Uh, no. I hated it. That's actually a film? It's a film. Oh. Oops. It, it's it's supposed to, inter it's like a space faring thing, and it's supposed to, you know, be a kind of, you know, like a gravity type film, but deals with alternate timelines, a parallel world, Ooh. and it's, it's awful. 
Ah, <sighs> fantastic. It's awful. Don't watch that. Watch 10 Cloverfield Lane and be annoyed by the by the twist at the end compared to watching Cloverfield Paradox and not understanding anything and being pissed off at the whole thing because they don't really elaborate on anything at the end. Actually, now that I'm seeing this right here in the gameplay, I need to watch Alien. Oh, yeah. It's Gorny Weaver. I haven't seen Alien yet, either. I haven't seen a single Alien movie, Damn to be it. honest. Maybe that's what October should be for. <laughs> <laughs> let's just let's just get all those classics done. Ugh. Oh, by the way, you failed them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, good well, job, mate. Well, we gotta start the cold reaction fusion to get their ship up and running. We gotta do it in a limited amount of time. For some reason. No, well, I guess you don't want it to cool down. Actually, Oop. Aliens, Space, Dead Space. Dead Space Remake. I can't wait for Dead Space Remake. I can. I know you can. But I enjoyed Dead Space. Because, you know, they don't understand the nature of a remake, because they're not giving us a remake. They're giving us a reimagining because they want to make the same game twice and make money off of it again. So they don't have to make up new ideas. Well, that's pessimistic. That is pessimistic, because it's from EA. I have no choice but to be pessimistic. Oh, well, that's a good point. My only hope is EA finally... Like, fuck, like, this, okay. like th this Diablo 2 thing. Oh, don't worry, guys, this one's gonna be good. They, I mean, Activision's fucked up on the other two remasters that they tried to do, but this one's gonna be good, guys, trust me. No, it isn't. I actually really like Diablo 2. <laughs> you won't like this one. Will I? Or, sorry, won't I? You won't. Because it doesn't work. Damn it! I wanted to play Diablo 2! Get the original Diablo 2! I should. Just, just do that. I'm pretty sure you can still run on mo modern PCs. If I, you I, I could probably find it, with it a little bit. Yeah. I want to play Diablo 2. But they gave it, like, updated graphics and everything doesn't work and they locked <laughs> things up behind online characters that you can't even <gasps> unlock because it doesn't work because the Fuck system's all fucked off. up. God damn it. I just want to play good games, fuckers. Stop ruining it for everyone. Jesus. Well, they'll show up in a later level, these guys. Oh, here they go. Woo! Uh, what? Uh, and I'm about goddamn sick of this level, so let's <laughs> so let's wrap it up and move on a little Grab bit. Grab your huh? jiggy and let's go! I still haven't figured out the seamies. There's uh, quite a few things that we that we got to get still. It's all right. But we got we got the jiggies that we need to get. We, we got a, we got all the moves that we need to, that we need in order to move on. Let's Fuck it, there's a backtracking episode. <laughs> I'll just take care of everything then, when let's, I've already got everything to do everything anyway. Let's go see Jiggy Wiggy. Eh, let's go see Jolly first and talk oh, about right, his Jolly. partner, and then I think he's got one more Jiggy for us. Now, what about the dad? What about uh, Bacon? Uh, we got him already. Oh yeah, he gave us a Jiggy, that's he, right. Yeah, he was, he was photographing sharks, we had to keep the sharks away. Sharks. This whole thing didn't need to be this long, though. <laughs> It didn't need to be underwater like this. Not like this. Not like this. I would. You know, wouldn't it be cool if it was oh. like a seaside town? You know, all the all the things we had to deal with was like you know you know we had underwater parts, but it was like all one big long boardwalk, pretty much. Play with dolphins. That'd be neat. Go surfing. Legendary Cheeto. I think that's the last thing we can buy from. Oh look, there's a photo of Brenda Tilda back there. Yeah. Hi, Brenda. Five doubloons. Yep, five doubloons. I think this is like the rest of the doubloons. All right, or... make it rain, oh, I guess we got two more for something else. Make it rain. <laughs> then here. Yes, I, I, I... Just give me the fucking page already. I... Throw it at his face. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! There's one! Here's <laughs> two! No, 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 no! Twelve. Let me get you your change. Shout! Glass everywhere! Ow! I don't have any shoes on, asshole! Ow, 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 ow! Wait, we still have two doubloons left. That might be just be for, uh, spillover. Oh, okay. I don't know why, they're all, like, right here. Just for funsies. It, oh. Thanks for rescuing me from the bile-infested innards of that ferocious sea monster. Are you... On your knees, or are you really that short? I, I could have sworn you were huge. I, th I think she's standing at the, at the bar because he's like getting on top of everything. Oh, now he's very jolly. It, aww, look at you. Yeah, pay up. 
I thought he said I'm rather pissed. <laughs> sure, ginger beer. Awesome. Yeah. That, oh. All right, then take this. And we're done! Ta-da! Yes, we're done! I know it's not all ten, but then there's... Hey. This is the most backtracking we have to do. We're done for now. But I, I cannot... I cannot be at this level any longer. I am done. I am done. We'll come back later when I'm ready to tackle it again. Okay, next time on Banjo-Kazooie, more Jiggy Wiggy. Nope, next time on Banjo-Tooie. Damn it!